Thank you for staying with us. Most times, highly placed people convicted of some offenses are left off the hook through state's pardon to the consternation of Nigerians. But Osho State Governor Ademola Deliki has denied having any plan of pardoning Rahman Adedoin, who was convicted for the murder of Timothy Adegoke, a postgraduate student of Obafemi Aulo University, Ilife, Osho State. In a statement issued by a spokesperson, Ola Ali Rashid, Governor Adeliki vowed never to intervene in any judicial process, including Adedoin's matter. Let me start from GKB. This was kind of bizarre. And as at the time this event happened, a student going for his master's exams yes. and um, checked in into one hotel, thinking that should be a decent hotel. What's the name of the hotel? As a, a, the, one of the big franchise name. Yeah. And checked into that hotel. And this is, that's the say, is this true? I want to put us to speak because he has been convicted officially by yeah, the court now. He was, he was convicted, but he refused to put up a defense. You remember that? Hmm? He did not take a plea. He didn't plead whether he's guilty or not. That's his inconsequential. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The court, so, once the court pronounced he as guilty. Precisely. That's mm -hmm. the point I was getting. To. If he likes. So I think uh, because I, when I heard this, I know it's from those who are trying to put two and two together mm -hmm. under the pretense that, mm -hmm. okay, if a man could not take a plea, in the case of murder, so maybe he has some very powerful people backing him. Yeah. And then the now presupposes that that person will be the governor of the states. Okay. I think that's led to. So the governor has the power to even order the attorney general to enter a nolly prosecute. In the, in the first place. Hmm. Even has the power under, I think, uh, 170, section 175 of the Constitution to decide whether to even take the case at all or to pardon the man after the facts. But those are not coming into play here because. This matter has been appealed. And like the governor said, he has no interest in intervening in a judicial process. Besides, he's a politician. He knows the consequence of creating the impression that some people are above the law. Because in our in national state, as you speak, usually in Lefe, this matter is a hot button mm. that cannot really be touched. Mm. And anybody who really I used to follow this lawyer online. I've forgotten the, the name of this man, know. this activist. Um, no, 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 not the lawyer, uh, the radio man that was at the forefront of this particular case. Yeah. Mm, he's from other states. I know. Uh, what's his name? Uh, a lot of people took interest okay. in this and decided to There's fight. one it. man at the forefront that was trying <laughs> to. So what we, the place we are now is that the governor has done the right thing to come out very publicly, very quickly. I'm Zat Oriyomi. Thank you, my producer. I'm Zat Oriyomi. I'm Zat Oriyomi. All true. Was yeah, well, his life giving was even threatened, according mm, to Yes, him. yes. He was, at, at the point in time, the police from Abuja tried to intimidate him. Yeah. He was uh, called to question him for questioning in Abuja. He was called, he was bullied, but yes. he stood his ground until the case was decided. Mm. So I think the governor has done the right thing, because matters like this should not be allowed to fester. Because mm. the danger of the single narrative is that people will believe whatever they were told. So, I think, so the governor did the right thing by quickly coming out to debunk this. Of course, it doesn't mean that after all said and done, the guy cannot be pardoned. That's not what we are saying. We are saying as of this moment in time, the governor has decided not to interfere in this matter and let the judicial process go forward. Well, what do you make of this gentleman that decided to, you know, go for his MBA to better his lot and everything, and mysteriously, overnight, he disappeared. And one thing is certain, because the, there's this particular uh, blogger <laughs> I was listening to online and said that some men that you like traveling or going anywhere without telling your wife or telling people about your whereabouts that what sorted this kiss was that when he got to the hotel, he called his wife. He called his wife. Exactly. And the wife had a receipt of that same hotel for the previous outing. Exactly. So the the lesson will go to yeah, some there's, men. There's, there's a lot of lessons actually, <laughs> actually to learn. Because, mm -hmm. you know, um, you go out in the morning, come back in the evening, you are not seeking to hurt anybody, but you don't know who he's 
marking you for, for mm. destruction. So you cannot be over security conscious. But um, the lesson to... Okay, so um, we should also say that um, it's a good thing that uh, for, for him, uh, as they say, Daniel came to judgment. You know, the judge uh, resolved the matter and the man uh, was actually, the big man was mm. actually convicted. Very rich. A, a, a very rich he owns man. Odudua University. Odudua University, yeah. Mm. That um, private university and all of that. He, he, he's a man who will say he's an, they will call him the an prince. Up, the, yeah, the they prince will, in uh, uh, They will call him an upstanding citizen, mm. except that there are skeletons uh, buried uh, in, a, in his cupboard. So it's a good thing that he actually got the conviction. And let That's us... That's why the denial from, by Governor Adeleke. Mm. Is there any merits in the governor attempting to... No, 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 no. Uh, this is not... You see, a, although a governor has okay. the right to exercise that prerogative of mercy, you understand? But it is not also one that is exercised recklessly. Mm. I mean, this case is still very fresh. The man mm. was convicted. Before you, he has not fresh. even... How, how long has he even... Mm. Uh, how, how much has he spent less in, in, in prison? Yeah. Uh, uh, you don't just... It's, it, prerogative of mercy is just what you exercise uh, arbitrarily. By the way, this master has right of appeal. You can, the case can get to the, to, to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think it, it's also, for me, it, it, it was a display of arrogance for him not to even enter the witness box to defend himself. You know, he never defended himself. He never came to defend himself. And personally, he didn't uh, give any, any witness. So let the man face his music. If he's going to the appeal court, let him face his music. As, well, as he start now, he's a convict. Is a murderer. We can safely say he's a murderer. What was he thinking about when he saw Femi Falano? <laughs> As in, do you think he was going? He was going to go scot free. No, he, he didn't take it. He thought it was a kind of chance play. He thought that he will not get to this level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and you he, see, you, you, you know, you know, Femi so, Falano coming to do pro bono. Even yeah. at, even at the level of investigation, you know, big men can manipulate. Uh, no, they, 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 they try. They try. Like that. Thank God for that man you just mentioned now who was on the case. You know, it, 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 it's, actually on a daily basis. A, it's actually a public interest case. Everybody is interested. And that is why a man like Governor Deleke also has to look at the mood of the people. You understand? He can't just say, I grant prerogative of mercy. And I love what he said. He said, I cannot tamper with the, the, the judicial process. The fact that I'm governor, I have the right, I have that authority to exercise that prerogative does not mean that I will just... Uh, <laughs> has exercised it recklessly. Yeah. So the man has, is a convict, as far as we speak, is a murderer, as far as we the law is as concerned, yeah. stand now. Yeah. If, he, if he appeals, <laughs> if, if, if a higher court says he's not, we we'll no longer call him a murderer. But mm. evidence no, brought before the a, court. He's a convict. Yes. the law. Yes, he's a, so convicted, mur he's a convicted murderer. Mm. Uh, he actually, no. in the eye of the Lord, he, he committed that murder. And he was not able to sufficiently. Uh, defend himself. And, and you know, in, in criminal cases, what they normally say is that a case must be proved beyond, beyond reasonable doubt. doubt. Mm. So the court was convinced that this man, the, the case against him, had been proved sufficiently by the prosecution. Yeah, and they, it, because when they, the first thing they did was to deny that the man was there. Don't forget. Uh, definitely. That's the first step. No, so most, automatically, most that's, offenders will deny at first. That's <laughs> the, man, the man, yes, they denied. And later, they now saw the man in a shallow grave, yeah, close by. very close by. And then, I think there was CCTV or something. It was, the CCTV was tampered with? Exactly. Everything was. So once you tamper with evidence, the onus is beyond proving his neighborhood. Exactly. Every, 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 everything pointed to the fact that something was fishy, exactly. something was being, uh, uh, some, a crime was being covered and all of that. So... The, the, the issue of prerogative of message unit won't come up. The, the, receipts, who, the receipts were altered. Yeah, every, yeah. All, all of that. And the son, that could be used. the son is on the run. Yeah, because I think, uh, God, God forgive me, but there is a general feeling in Ife that this is not the first time mm. that something like this happened. Nobody has proof of corruption. You know our people, mm. the way they put two and two together. <laughs> so people, that itself is a problem for the defense yeah. because the way they went about. Cutting away, tampering with evidence. It's obvious that something fishy was going on. Because mm -hmm. all you are required to do as an hospitality owner mm -hmm. is to report the case to the police. To the police. Allow the corona to tell us what really happened to the man. No, you don't do self-help when it comes to things of this nature. Are we now saying it's very uh, now dangerous 
to just check it into a hotel, and even hotel with international affiliation. I don't know, maybe got that franchise properly, or it's just name dropping. No, 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 no matter what you do, normally if you have somebody, you should let them know where you are. Mm. And then tell them exactly when you arrive there. Because, you know, we travel a lot, so mm. we automatically every point that we got to, we have to let them know at all. Exactly. I'm now here, exactly. I'm now here, we're going around to us, be here. Mm. So you have- This you have, guy's case is a big lesson. Mm, no, because right now, like you said, even moving within your neighborhood is dangerous. It Not is, to talk yeah. of uh, going to an hotel. And memorize phone numbers. Yeah. Memorize, mm. there are people who don't, uh, who don't have, uh, who can't, uh, who don't commit phone numbers into their, into their heads. Those who are very important. Exactly, those who are important to you. What if your phone is seized? What if you need help and you have to get someone to, uh, what, you have to what? use someone's phone and you don't know anybody's number? I, have, have people's phone numbers committed to your memory? It's yeah. very important. Well, people are very wicked. Yeah. yeah. Work, you're checking into an hotel and that's the end of his life. Not only an hotel, mm. even if you check into a taxi, dangerous luck everywhere. Mm. Only, only God is in control of all we do. Okay, we just wish the family of this guy, um, Timothy Adegoke, the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss because I saw a video, it's like the breadwinner in that family. Yeah. 